Welcome back. With all the holiday parties, do you know what's appropriate to bring to the party? How about how long to stay? Cindy Grasso with the Charleston School of Protocol and Etiquette is here. And this is a lot of questions we have here. We're I sitting know. down at a nice table setting. Right. Love right. it. Looks good. Holiday time is the time for table settings. <laughs> yes, it is. When we dine and uh, have guests and company, and absolutely, yes. So talk a little bit about what we should do. First of all, formality. Now, is this a formal, this is a kind of a formal This table would be setting? probably a little bit, yeah, probably a little bit formal. It's kind of in between. You know, last week or last month we did a big, really formal with lots of silver, but this would probably be typical holiday. Well, absolutely. do I bring a dish to a party that's this formal? You, well, good question. If, the, if there's um, service that's coming to help with the dinner party or maybe it's being catered, then no. If they more informal the party, then you would ask to bring things. If you're going to a very formal party, then typically you don't bring anything with you. So if it's formal, don't even offer, you don't think? No, not really. Mm -mm. If okay. it's really formal, I mean, you can offer on the phone, but, you know, ask. But typically if it's formal, it means that you don't. What about anything. when the meal's done? Help clean up? Oh, good. If, again, sometimes people will bring in service to help them clean up, if that's the case, then you do not need to ask. If there's no help there, then absolutely offer. Do you bring wine, flowers? What do you usually? I like to bring wine. wine definitely wine. <laughs> maybe definitely maybe some chocolates. I like right. to bring a little snack food. Right. Wine is a great gift. But just when you bring wine, don't expect that the wine might be opened. Okay. Because as we know today, people take a lot of time with pairing wines with foods today. So you may bring a wine, but don't expect that it's going to be opened at that event. Now, <laughs> should, you get, should you get an idea of what kind of food they're serving ahead of time to bring white, maybe one of each, a white or a red? You absolutely I'm not that. I'm not that. <laughs> I mean, I should say rich. Oh, you can get wine for four nights. Come on. We need to do a segment on that. Well, it, it, you really don't worry so much about the meal. I mean, you can ask, do you prefer white or red? But typically, the main thing is not to expect it to be served. So if you don't expect it to be served, you don't really have to worry because that means the host may use it another time. Chocolates are also a good gift. Flowers are a great gift. Talk about, about the flowers. It's flowers are a great gift, but if you come into a party and the host is typically trying to get things done last minute, you know, and that's why you don't really want to come early. But if that's the case, if you bring flowers, bring them already arranged in a, uh, an arrangement. Mm -hmm. Because if the host has to stop, arrange the flowers, it just takes more time. And if you show up at a party and you didn't bring anything and people did and you realized it afterwards, you can send flowers the next day. Oh, nice. And what about time? I mean, I'm always 15 minutes late, but you want people not to be early. No. <laughs> Oh. But you, are you pretty much on time? I'm always they say on not time. to be early. Though. Right on time. Right. You always. don't want to be early for a party because, again, last minute things are going on and the hostess is usually, or the host is usually trying to run around and get those done. Fashionably late is 15 minutes. But the trend today really is getting there on time. Now, the larger the party, that can go even to a little bit of 20 minutes. So just if it's a big, huge event. But be careful with that. Don't You don't want to be really rude and arrive an hour late or even if it is a big party. So you want to pay attention. Well, Dave, you know, he goes to so many Christmas parties. All what is, should he do about eating and running? Right, right. Oh, I would never. <laughs> I would never. Well, you know, if you're in someone's home, etiquette says that you should stay one hour after you finish eating. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, then you're not considered eating and running. And so, alcohol, too. Be careful with that. Alcohol, be very careful with that. You know, sometimes if you're ha uh, having a party and someone drinks too much, you have to make sure that person gets home. Or maybe you have to have an extra bed. Or maybe something is said that shouldn't be said. So be really consciously aware of your uh, alcohol consumption. And don't be the last to leave. <laughs> no, no. Unless you want to plan on cleaning up. That's what I did. That's right. You know, I always try to tell people, get there on time and don't, absolutely don't. If it's a, if it's a company dinner, you want to even, like we have a lot of drop-ins this time, get there early and leave early. Because uh -huh. later on in the evening is when alcohol starts to happen, things start to be said that maybe not, you know, so for drop-ins, which happen a lot this time of year, uh, that's and, a good. And we saw some bad video of a holiday party yesterday, so, oh. right? <laughs> they stayed late. Did. Well, you can find out more information by going to charlestonschoolofprotocol.com. Call Cindy. She can help you with everything. She'll be helping me soon one day. Yes. 207-1025. Uh, and thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Happy thank holidays. You. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. And Thanks. we love this. This is nice. Well, up next, eating healthy with the family can be easy this holiday season. More with Louie's Kids next.